So in this video, I'm going to talk about Jenkins. Um, we're also going to talk briefly about uh, the, what are the roles Jenkins can do. Uh, we will also talk about what builds mean um, and um, how we would be able to configure a new Jenkins job and we can run them, right? And we'll see the results of those automation tests. Um, so um, there are a few things you need to understand. So Jenkins considers um, uh, CICD, so which is a continuous integration and continuous delivery. Uh, Jenkins can also be set up for the pipeline where you'd be able to uh, release or do production release or you can deploy codes from one environment to another. Um, basically, it just performs the entire set of the script that you want it to perform. Um, from the automation point, you can set uh, the Jenkins to uh, run your automation test on a scheduled basis or you can trigger them manually by going into the link and then click it and it will just trigger the test immediately um, so in order to do that you'll need to know um, the code repository that the Jenkins is going to access code repository is basically the code which is set in the git which is not on your local computer but which, but which is inside the server so in this case you should have uh, github or some form of repository account set up um, for this demo purpose I have uh, created my um, own repository which is uh, basically the automation test I have and then we'll be triggering um, we will access that uh, the link of that uh, repository and we'll run the automation test uh, so uh, let's go there first um, and see what we can do on what we'll be talking today so here if you see this link uh, this page whatever is opening right now this is a Jenkins page okay so if you see here Robert Selenium this is basically the job one of the testing job that or one of the build job it has already been uh, configured if you see the last success last success is basically you know when was last time it ran last failure uh, last failure means it never fails so there's no records um, last duration so last test that ran or last build job this job that ran for two minutes 28 seconds basically this green or sometimes you might have a blue uh, I customize this icon but it would normally look blue blue means uh, blue or green means it's a successful if it was failed it would show some other colors um so um, this job right now doesn't mean it is meant for automation so this could do more over things but based on what you actually want it to do right so it, it depends on what are the commands that you want it to be prepared so um, let's go there so let's see inside this job what it is doing so there are some of the builds that ran and the, those are successful if you you can click any one of this link and it will show you the results so let's say let's go to the most recent one and if you see the cucumber reports so here this is the test results reports that you can see um, there are some jobs these are the link of the jobs those are basically the cucumber tests so it's a feature file um, this oh by the way this report is not um, generated from the automation this is basically the plugins that is used from the Jenkins so Jenkins will prepare it for you so all it needs is the cucumber.json file we'll go through that later so uh, let's click to this so now if you see you, you are seeing more detailed view of that test right each one of this test has certain things that it is trying to do you can click here and then see what it's doing um, you can run multiple sets of the test in the uh, cucumber um, and then there are other scenarios so each one of these basically is coming from the one single feature file so which is a cucumber feature file and these are the description that is defined in the code and you know same thing here it's already uh, self-explained so everything's 100% successful so these are the feature file there are two feature files 
to go to the next one, it says how many scenarios there were. There were 18 scenarios. How many steps? There are 69 steps. So basically, these are the total number of the tests that were going to be triggered. So, um, if you want to trigger any test, you would simply need to click the build now and it will start running the test. Okay, if you see this is a, uh, like a moving component, that is that means that the job has triggered and it is on its process. The next thing you can do is you can click while it is going on or you can click even the job is completed. No problem with that. Here you, you can see the progress. It is a progress we bar that is telling you that how long that test get started. So it started 19 seconds ago. Um, also, there's a red X icon where you can click it and it will basically just stop this goal. Basically, if you want to terminate or if you want to abort this test from going, you can simply click there and it will stop. So if you want to go more detail while it is doing uh, something, you can go to console output. So it will show you the console of that test right now which is running. So let's go there. So now you can see all of the logs. These are the logger, right? So logs from the test. It is giving you more information. It will also tell you how many tests got passed. So here you can see you know what what project it came from, where it is going, where is the what is the repository, what the test is supposed to do. It is supposed to clean and test. Um, it also does compile first um, and then after it is compiled then it will just run the test so here if you see these logs here where the test is that means that's when the test gets triggered so before going through this it will have to first compile your code if there's any issues with the code then it will show you the build fail lots of information up to now so we're gonna go through this again and uh, so you know what I'm talking about let us let that test continue we can refresh this screen no problem with that too um, so it is continuing to run so let's go ahead and create a new project a uh, new uh, job Jenkins job and we will uh, go from there okay so for that we have to go to Jenkins the master like the main link Jenkins okay there's a new item you can click here there are so many items you can do from the Jenkins so um, some are for um, some are for doing release and builds uh, we're not doing that which is what you'd be doing through pipelines so I'm going to run some um, automation test here so that's my target so we'll just write demo demo testing or I would just say yeah that's fine and do nothing else just hit the OK button here oh you have to select which item you want so we will select freestyle project okay freestyle just click there then OK button gets enabled So now you have to be careful here. Um, there are so many items you can do from this uh, this piece. Um, this is what you'd be doing uh, if you have nothing set up in the Jenkins. So this is just to set up the Jenkins job. First of all, you will need to know where the link of your uh, Git or, or your uh, repository, okay? So I will be using my own link. Um, so we'll be using that, So which is GitHub project. There will be project URL. Okay. This is basically everything is the default right now. I haven't done anything. All I do is I check box. I click this check box. I simply copy paste my code. Okay. That's the repository link. Um, so next thing, if you want to see where that link is, you can simply go there and see. This is the link. All you need is, you know, the, the link of this page. That's where my code is coming from. Now, next thing you have to go to, obviously, this is a Git project, so you have to go through that. You have to get that. 
uh, same link it's a repository link basically this is the link where YouTube would go to access the code and then perform the test okay your code should be into the repository next thing is the credentials you would need to know these credentials basically this credentials is the credential that will be uh, accessible into this link so you have to, if you have to basically have your own code repository you just create a free project into github um, and then run your own test right everything is uh, open source so nothing would cost you um, so create your own automation project and you can experience that and the credentials I already have my credentials so I will just do that I will just select my uh, credentials from the branch um here next one you have a master so basically that's the master branch if you want to come here there are two branches i have master branch would have most up-to-date and working code so i'll keep that so that's the default continue to go down i haven't clicked anything else beside number one here number two git all i put is git information okay after that continue to go down and then um, go here into the build section this is where you want to uh, perform the maven build so here there are multiple options we're gonna take the maven so we're running the maven project so after that you will see a couple options on the maven versions just simply click that and get the maven basically this is the maven version that you will be running uh, which is already configured uh, on the goals section what you do you simply write clean test clean test is basically just clean which means clean the workspace and then run the test okay and then after that you would have uh, post build actions here just click this drop down publish cucumber test results okay that's what we want we need uh, cucumber results so cucumber report so cucumber reports click the advanced here and it will give you some um, options here so in the advance here in the JSON reports path that's where the code has the reports so I would simply write target which means the the results will be inside the target folder so it will look for that results report inside the target um, next thing is JSON um, you need to pass the JSON uh, file so which means file include pattern you would write cucumber.json that is the file it will have the test results generated into the JSON format Jenkins will retrieve this file from your workspace wherever the test ran and then it will convert through its plugin and will show you the beautiful chart um, so that's all we need to do for now and then uh, rest everything leave it default nothing else just save it This is a blank project obviously there's nothing so you can simply click the build now in order to say that okay So once it starts running so you can just click here and see what it is doing again go to console output to make sure nothing issues there okay it is compiling the code and it is downloading if anything is needed to be downloaded so basically what build means maven build is okay there's no issues in the project which means the test gets started see the test is already started so uh, until this is running we can talk few uh, items so whatever you are seeing right now is nothing but the log um, and also the test is running uh, behind the scene um, next thing is um, this job as soon as it completes like entire test that is part of this build once everything is completed then it will generate the cucumber.json file inside the target folder so if you want to go into the project where that is let's go there test okay uh, obviously there's no target folder here so you can't really see but if you have your project setup you can see that there and that it will be inside the target folder it will be in the workspace okay 
So let's try to find that uh, target folder from the different uh, different job which is already completed, right? So this job should have a workspace. So let's go to the workspace. There are the target folder. You see the target folder? There's a cucumber dot report. Cucumber report, okay? And there's a cucumber JSON. That's the file we want it to convert into the chart, okay? So that is the file it will look for in order to show you the results. So which would be basically in the JSON format just like that. It will contain all information that means how many tests got passed, how many scenarios passed, everything is just here. It will convert this into the beautiful format by its Cucumber plugins. So you do not have to do anything, it will do it for you. Um, let's go if the other job is completed. It is still running. Okay, so let that run for a few minutes and then see once it's completed Let's go inside the command uh, console see what it is doing Okay, the test is still running <coughs> Okay, that okay, this is the bottom part So it will say entire scenarios passed right nothing failed if there was anything failed it will tell you um, also, this is the console output exactly like you'd be running in your uh, local IDE, in your local computer, in your local machine. It will just show everything as it should be running into your computer, right? So if there's anything that failed, you would see the exact same logs as it would show in your local computer when you run the same test. Now the bottom part, it will, you know, it will have just a couple items. The, all you need to worry is about build success, how many test gets failed, how many passed, right? And then there are some items it will say, okay? Um, and then let's go back and see the results, okay? We should have a Cucumber reports ready. So let's go there. So this is the project we just created, Cucumber report. See, everything is green. There's no, it not, it's not necessary to show green. If it anything get failed, it also red. That's fine. So here everything is green, which means all test is 100%. And also you see the same thing into the console, right? Console, um, there's no failed test. Um, and then go back again, look at this. So this is all about the Jenkins. Um, in my other video, I'm going to show you how you'd be able to configure Jenkins. And if you have created your repository, then you can use those steps and uh, run your own test into your own Jenkins. And it's for free and it's open source. So you don't have to pay for anything on that uh, Jenkins setup. So uh, you can just ex uh, get experience on that, right? So I think this video is quite lengthy by now and I hope this has been clear. Uh, lots of information. Uh, if there's anything that you um, you have doubt about or if there's anything that you could not understand, please feel free to comment and I'll try to help you out. Um, and uh, please repeat this video. This, there's so much information um, inside this video. So um, I hope um, this video could be helpful for you so that you can have some exposure to the Jenkins and how you'd be running tests. And then um, as part of the automation role, you'd be running this test like every now and then, like basic, and then you would be, uh, basically you'd be running this test overnight or something where you have like a huge amount of tests to run. Jenkins will run overnight. You come in morning, and then start seeing the results you basically just go to the whatever reports you have and then go through the test that failed okay um i hope i have covered pretty much everything that um, interests you um so um thank you for watching um please uh, subscribe my channel support my channel um feel free to uh, share like comments uh, i'll try to respond to you on time if you have any questions okay then i think um, we'll then look forward for the next video uh, see you again thank you